Hey guys, welcome to game two between <laughs> Valk and Cheeto. Horny Valk, aka, I think this is Frostbite, starting the upper, sorry, bottom right hand corner as the Teal Terran. I feel like Terran still has a big advantage on this map. Cheeto sticking with Protoss play at the three o'clock location. And we will see who, so both players now have a bit of experience on this map. Both players know what to expect. So let's see after having played a little bit, if they have a better sense of what to do. And I think the big indication will be whether Cheeto goes for that initial pylon or not. Both players discussing playing against, playing with and against Artosis. Missed the chat. I like Valk's decision to very, very, very rapidly try to grab that refinery as the name of the match. He's in, fa in fact, Festin Terrans. By the way, if you happen to be in Artosis's chat, if you happen to be there, it is a rule. You gotta say hi to Dead Infested. He's the host of this tournament and a pylon being dropped again. So yeah, I think uh, I think a bit of a, a mistake right there. But top command center being captured. It looks like the Overlord. Is this Overlord Scout or is it just neutral brown? It's hard to tell here what, what's going on here. I don't know this has been captured yet. You got to touch the command center, I think, for uh, to capture it and the Overlords off the bat. Uh, so a bit of a scouting advantage, at least in the Overlord movement on Cheeto's side currently. He's getting his assimilator up. Okay, now it's been tapped. Now it's been captured. The Overlord's starting to make their way across. And SEV moving out for Valk to go ahead and get that initial scouting information. This will be critical of which direction he scouts. Because this Overlord will take a significant amount of time to get here. And the SEV getting, trying to fight through these critters could take absolutely forever. It looks like he's just going to give up and drop a supply depot instead. First Infested Terran is going to be fielded. The question is, is where does it go? These infested command centers are going to be, I think these get captured by these overlords as they make their way across. Cheeto pulling the initial infested command center he grabbed back to the south. I'm curious if he's gonna use it to scout or to be aggressive. He's dropping a gateway as well. And I feel like gateways, unless you're pushing tech again, not as good as infested Terrans. This infested Terran for Valk getting, is certainly gonna get first blood. Walking in, finding, it, does Cheeto see it? He, I'm, he might even see it, but can he do anything about it? Trying to fight the critters, making its way through. The probe's trying to scatter, but instead, a lot of them getting annihilated now. It is a 10 worker count versus 7. Dead Infested in chat confirming. Yep, Overlord's capture. wonder if there can be, like, counter cap. That would be an interesting mechanic if you can, like, counter infest. Anyway, barracks being built. Interestingly enough, th this is actually... Uh, a bit of play I didn't think about as far as a Protoss advantage, the pros actually moving out for Cheeto to scout, is that when you build Zealots, it forces you to... Nah, <laughs> supply Depot dying. You know, when you build Zealots, it forces that Supply Depot, you know, thing where the, so the Marines can run in between, right? But that forces the buildings to be constructed more closely together, which just makes them more infested Terran bait. So, there you go. Uh, this infested Terran walking up, the probe's running. So a little bit of advantage versus Terran, potentially. This is at the very least disrupting mining time. These critters continuing to create additional blockade. The infested Terran trying to find a way through. Is going to land, though. And that is... There's only one mining probe otherwise. The other probes evacuated. It looks like they're distance mining now to the upper left. So maybe a tactic of trying to hide probes to keep them alive in the midst of this. Another infested Terran making its way across, these probes scattering. So right now Cheeto not mining, so it looks like it's gonna be another quick win to Valk. And is he gonna just opt to explode on the Nexus? It looks like not. Counter infested Terran making its way across. The supply depot is blockading the way a bit, which is gonna make it even more challenging to get across. So he's gonna to have to expend. Oh, nope, just kidding, can pop right through. I didn't realize they countered as small units. And taking out several SCVs, that's going to drop Falk down to seven SCVs himself. Sorry about the beeping in the background, doing some Thanksgiving cooking. Getting the aromatics in the fridge. And right now, Valk just camping the mineral line. And distance mining with the probes happening everywhere. This is That's an interesting tactic. Okay, I'll, like, you camp there, I will just mine at another base. And just really, really distance mine. I feel like the, the distance between... Giving a big advantage. Nice spread up! For a second, they were grouping. It looked for a second like the, these infested turns are going to be able to get it done, but... Ah, is he going to get it? 
Blows up, takes those four out. Cheeto now down to two probes. Things not looking good, and another Infested Terran making its way across. For a brief moment, it looked like that Infested Terran was going to do a counter hit. Some Marines are in the way. Once you get a critical mass of Marines, though, especially with these critters creating that blockade, it, that could be the difference in this match. That could be, like, the game ender. And it, it looks like I missed the last two probes being annihilated, so Cheeto down to just two Infested Terrans. Some critters being killed offensively on this side, and Cheeto's got to win the game, basically, with these two Infested Terrans, and I don't think it's going to happen. If one SCV lives, that's it. And that's GG. Quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to whatever match. The problem with this bracket was is they weren't organized, so I'm just kind of trying to do the matches as I got them. Be sure to sign up for Season 2 if you want to join. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.